Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of this new series, Cruise Line Simulator, A New Era, where we are going to be working our way to the top. So let's resume um, the game, the same game we started off um, last time. Um, let's hop straight into it. So we're going to be starting off from the um, from our last position, was where we ended off last time. So, um... It shouldn't be that bad. Maybe, um, this is probably gonna be like half an hour video, so a bit longer than the last time. So, um, hope you guys stick around for it. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. So, uh, I think we're already uh, driving, driving, sailing. I'm already in engine, the propeller's on full thrust right now. Um, okay. We're only at 7 knots, we're speeding up to 20 now. We're speeding up to 20. This is going pretty good so far. Um, so, what we're going to be doing is working our way up to the top. Now, the best ship you can get on this game without spending an absurd amount of Robux is the... Well, on here they call it the Blocks Knee fantasy class but we all know what that is it's the disney fantasy and the magic fantasy um disney cruise line so working our way up to the top in this series i have no idea how long um of a series this is but i hope this series grows very popular and i hope you guys like this series because Man, do I spend a lot of time on it. Now watch me try to change the port of registry on it. The fact that when I was um, playing this and I did that, and I saw that it cost Robux to do it, I got sad. Because it's like, man... I, Nassau is fun, but... And sometimes I don't want it to be that. See, 100 Robux. I, mean, I could. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. It's a waste of Robux, in my opinion. I'd much rather go on um, Theme Park Tycoon 2 and raise the height limit on it. <laughs> um, so... This is going to be a good series, I have a I hope you guys enjoy it. So, you guys may have been asking, um, Travel the Caribbean, why, why, um, I've been uploading a Fortnite short every single time you win a game. I don't know. I have no idea why, but, um, I thought they'd be popular, and I, I guess not. Um... The day that I'm, um, doing the voiceover for this video, um, Tuesday, m Monday, uh, not Tuesday, Monday, m May 8th, Monday, May 8th, um, at 8.37 p.m. That's why it's very quiet. Um, so... How many days of school do you guys have left? Comment down below how many days of school you guys have left. I would love to know. For me, I'm homeschooled, so I only have four. Four days of school left. Man, am I so excited to have this school year over with. Um. So. Yeah, I would really, really, really love to know what. How many days of school you guys have left? So if you made it to this far of the video, just comment down below how many days you have left. I just for example say like, um, I have ten days of school left. Good for you. <laughs> well, I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm happy you guys. I'm happy summer is almost here. Really, because um, vacations. Um. Duh, who doesn't look forward to summer for 
vacations. I mean, I do. Because I love vacations. I think we all do. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, but... When I'm on the Carnival Horizon this summer, I haven't decided yet, but I might do, like, daily vlogs or whatever while I'm on it. Trust me, it'd be very boring because all I do on a cruise ship is go to the water park all day and eat. Eat my way through the cruise ship. But I might change things up a little bit um, so I can give you guys daily <clears throat> what life is like on the carnival horizon. I hope you guys will stick forward for that if I manage to do it. August, um, middle of August is when the first video of that will go up. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button with all notifications turned on. So if I do end up doing that, you guys will not miss a single video of that. Hope you guys will. Because it's um, free. I'm free to help the channel out. And it's just... I get encouraged when I see people subscribing like today. How I uploaded the, um, what my dog does all day. He sleeps. That, I mean, that only has like 200 views, but 14 likes. And also, like, um, and it gained me like four subscribers, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure it's four subscribers, maybe three. Three, three maybe. I'm gonna say three or four, but um, I'm sorry for the cutout for like a split second, but um, I, just looking right now at um, what my dog does all day. Hashtag dog. Hashtag cute. Hashtag I love you. Hashtag one eye. Yes, he only has one eye. He lost his eye back in last September be due to a corneal ulcer. I'm so sorry, Alamo. But it has 258 views. Oh, 15 likes. Gained me 3 subscribers and now I have 133 subscribers. Wow. It's still so hard to believe that... Um started this back in October or November and I I'm already at 133 subscribers it's crazy and it's all thanks to you guys so thanks to all of you out there if you watch my videos support my videos maybe share them to your friends who knows share them to your pets Show them to your brothers and sisters. Show them to your friends at school. I don't know. I don't know what you do. Nor do I really care. Because I just do this because I enjoy. Now, here in a second, I'm going to give you just a little montage. Enjoy. And I'll see you on the other side. Peace out.
Did you guys enjoy that? I hope you did. Because I I enjoy putting music, a little bit of music into it. Um, from the YouTube audio library. I know, I wish I could put, like, real songs in here. But I don't want to get copyrighted, so. And, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the little music clips I put in these, um. Now that we're nearing St. Thomas, it's 8 a.m. on the game, and it's 8.45 p.m. in real time right now. <laughs> Only a 45-minute difference. Uh, um, so, yeah, it's, it's going good. Going really good. And, yeah, nearing St. Thomas. As I'm also nearing Dallas on the Microsoft Flight Simulator right now. On the wonderful Latin VFR A321neo Delta Airlines service from Atlanta to Dallas, Fort Worth. So they made a, they updated the aircraft. Some of you guys um, who played a flight simulator at home or something. You guys might think, oh, the Latin VFR A321. Oh, that plane sucks. It's horrible. Not anymore. I mean, they have a tablet and everything. You can um, see your speed, your altitude, what percent your engines are at, how how um, fast they're turning and stuff. Um, and then when you're on the ground, you can have the cones around the airplane. You can have the stairs connecting to the back left door you can have the rear door open you can have the right the back right door open but you cannot connect anything to it if you want the catering services you still have to do that via the original air traffic control thing at the top um but you can have animated passengers cabin lights on the front left door you can have you can open the door. You can have stairs connected to it if you're not at a, ga at a gate. You can have the AC unit hooked up to it. You can have the jetway hooked up to it. The jet bridge hooked up to the plane with the door open. You cannot see the passengers boarding very sadly though. And then from the front of the plane, you can have the ground power unit, the GPU hooked up. Um, back, the, not back, front right door, you can have um, the... The cargo door is open, um, and then you can have the, um, the cargo, um, the cargo belts and stuff like that. And then underneath that, you can have the, you have the weather, you can see the current temperature, the gust, the wind gust. Then you have your checklist screen, and then you have your weight and balance screen. And you can also turn it on and off. Pretty nice. I like it. Um, mm. so if you guys have ever thought about the online VFR C21 being a piece of trash on the flight sim, um, I mean, if you play on PC, I mean, you have the Phoenix A320, the PMDG 737s, but, I mean, if you play on Xbox, the Latin VFR AC21 is pretty good um i would still love to get the microsoft and any builds an225 um and then i don't know i've thought about the captain sim triple seven because i would love to have another long haul type aircraft other than the queen 747 that is um, some of you might be thinking, oh, you don't have the premium deluxe version with the Dreamliner? Um, yeah, I actually do, but, so, here's the story. So, on Christmas, when we got the Xbox Series X and, um, Microsoft Flight Simulator Premium Deluxe, it was, the code, um, was redeemed, um, on my brother's account 
Therefore, he got the premium deluxe version. And we thought, me and my family, we just thought that it would be normal. Like Forza Horizon 5 and stuff where if you buy it on one account, if you buy in-game purchases and stuff on one account, they go to the other account that's on the same Xbox. So that's what we uh, that's what we had thought. We were fooled though, sadly. And now my brother has the Dreamliner and the other stuff, the detailed airports over in Europe and stuff. And the citation, the Cessna citation, and I'm stuck with the Queen. Because for some odd reason, Microsoft never made it to where if you buy with someone one account, it goes to the other. Therefore, it's like, I always just, I just want to fly the Dreamliner, but I can't. It's very sad. But I just got to deal with it, hoping one day to save up and get it one day. Not spending my own money. Some of you guys might be like, oh, is your dad going to get it for you or something? I don't, I don't know. Probably not. But, um, Microsoft Rewards. It's a great thing if you have an Xbox. Microsoft Rewards. Um, go to your web browser if you're on Apple, your Safari or whatever. Um, just go there and look up Microsoft Rewards and click on the link that appears. Um, now that I'm talking about it, I'll actually put a link down below in the description if you guys would like to see that. So, um, I tell you guys, I tell you guys this, I'll put a link in it, I'll put a link to, down below I'll put a link to, uh, Microsoft Rewards, the Latin VFR 321, and other stuff like that. Now that we are very, very close to St. Thomas, we're right here, actually. Um, I'll stop blabbing and blabbing about Microsoft this, Microsoft that, Microsoft Rewards, and Microsoft Flight Simulator, and stuff like that. I will start to talk about this again. It's slowing down to 15 knots. Um, pre pretty good, um. We have made excellent timing, so that's nice. Um, yeah, near St. Thomas, pretty good. So we have $10 million on this game. Um, here soon, the at the rate we're going with this series, um, not, not too long until maybe I'll have another ship. Oh, I'll sell this one and get another one. Um, so if you guys ever think that I should start, like, a Theme Park Tycoon 2 series, let me know down below. I don't know if you guys like the series. I like making them for you all. Like, Wonder of the Seas. Some of you guys might be in a raging fit right now that I even mentioned Wonder of the Seas. Because some of you guys that actually enjoy watching them, some of you guys might be like, Ugh, when is the next one coming out? It's been a month, Travel the Caribbean. And it's like, I'm working on the balconies. Partially. <laughs> um, most of the time, the balconies. But actually, for you guys that enjoy it, coming this Saturday alongside a part two of the cruise line simulator a new era one it i'm gonna put another wonder of the seas update out some of you guys may look how many decks of balconies do you have done yet one deck on one side <laughs> So I still have another seven decks to go on both sides, and then I have the central park balconies, the boardwalk balconies, the suites on the back, and 
So, I'm going to, like, start to slowly work on getting those out. Well, I'm going to be working on the balconies the majority of the time, but I'm going to also actually kind of, um, I'm slowly work on other things too. That way I'm not keeping you guys, holding you guys up. Because for some of you guys, that you might like Wonder the Wonder Disease updates. I hope you guys do because I, I've worked really hard on those. And, um, as I'm working, trying to work pretty hard on these either. <laughs> I'm working pretty hard on these too. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy all of these. <laughs> Watch me try to get out of this ship. No. No, no, it's not gonna happen. So, we're nearing the end of this video. Only three minutes to go, guys. If you guys have made it this far, man, you guys, you guys pretty good. Love you all. Love you all so much. Because you guys support this channel. Um, small channel, stupid channel, probably. May I um, have your attention, please? But At the conclusion of this announcement, you guys the general this alarm will be sounded. I mean, which is seven short blasts, followed by I've one had more blast of a the ship's of this channel ever since by the, the sound start of the alarm. Much, um, this the will mark the start of today's safety briefing, and the please pay close program. attention to the information provided. Um, At this time, thanks, man, we ask that all crew members working in guest areas suspend but services and stay in that, place until um, the end of the safety briefing. We yeah. ask that all guests also remain in place it's, and listen for the I duration have, of the safety briefing. Like I said briefing. earlier, 130 If you happen to be in a location where the guest safety briefing this video is broadcast on slowly, a screen, slowly, please remain in that location, listen to that announcement and follow along with the video. And I'm happy about Once again, about at the conclusion of this announcement, the general alarm will be sounded if you have small children or sensitive these, hearing. So, you may want to cover your ears. Um, Thank you. I sometimes spend a day editing these videos especially the videos of Wonder of the Seas updates but like this one for example almost half an hour because it's like half an hour you guys if you guys are still From port. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's, it's free and it really helps the channel. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Um. Now that we're pulling away. Now, for the final min minute of this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. And let's not jump off this back of the boat this time. I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna wave goodbye to you all. Thank you all. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. It's been Travel the Caribbean 2009. Over and out. And as always, peace out.